Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Super pumped to have you here. So lately I've been getting a lot of DMs requesting uh, all the boards I've skated so I could possibly do future reviews on them. So I decided to do just that and make a video where I go through all the skateboards I've ridden and then you guys can leave in the comments down below which boards you want to see me review in the future. All right, let's get right into it. All right, let's get right into this. All right, so the first board, our first professional board I've had since I got back into skating was an 8.25 Eric Ellington Grateful Shred Deathwish model. Try saying that three times fast. And this board held up really well. It was actually the razor tail that uh, made me decide to focus it. And I believe this is almost grip tape. I'm not exactly sure the brand, but it says almost on it. So I assume that's what it is. But this was the first board that I learned how to ollie a curb on. All right, quick side note before we get into the rest of these. Every single board here is an 8.25, except for one board, which I'll get into when we get there. So coming in next was the first ATM board I ever rode. This is a Tiny Wings, and I threw some stickers on here. And this is some Shake Jump Grip. And I do want to say in my top five uh, skateboards that I enjoy, I did say that ATM is one of my favorites. But at this time, I actually hated ATM. I did not like the first board I rode at all, but I'll get into why I like them in a little bit. The next board we skated was an 8.25 blind board. And this is in a couple pieces right here. But uh, this was the board that I learned how to board slide a rail on. So I was doing that all day and you can kind of see that uh, the board started flaking off a little bit, but the shape of this was really good. And this was Alien Workshop Grip Tape. The next board on our list might be the only exception to the 8.25 rule, and that is a welcome board. And I believe this shape is called the Young Nibiru, and I had Grizzly Grip Tape on it. And you might be looking at this board and think it's still in pretty good condition until you see this chip in the back. But uh, this was the board that I learned how to do nose slides on. So you can see the marks starting to uh, form as we go down through these boards. The next board we have is a Santa Cruz Screaming Hand Pastel Deck. and. Uh, this board snapped when I was ollieing off the gap for the first time, and um, I believe this was Mob or Jessup Grip Tape. I'm not exactly sure, but super cool board with a really cool graphic. All right, coming up next is possibly my least favorite board, and this is an Enjoy board. And you might notice that this board is completely intact. It has absolutely awesome uh, mouse mob grip. So the grip is honestly the best thing about this board. But uh, yeah, so this is going to serve as a backup for a backup because I really could not stand the shape of this board. And uh, that's why it's still in pretty good condition. Coming in next on the list, we have a smaller brand called Permanent Vacation. And uh, they come out of Soft Distribution, the same uh, company that sells acid chemical wheels and ATM skateboards. And I saw this graphic and I just had to have it. So this is a Permanent Vacation board and this was Mob Grip Tape. So super cool, small company, support small companies. Next on the list, we have a girl Corey Kennedy Kodak Pro model with the Bam Margera Element Grip Tape. So this was a super sick board. Uh, I plan putting this together to look just like this. Free Corey Kennedy, and as always, Bam Margera is an absolute legend. Let's get on to the next one. Coming in next, we have an 8.25 Morningwood Ventai Bay board, and this actually wasn't in the stack, and that's because I have a skate view on here. Uh, if any of you guys don't know what that is, you hook a GoPro to the bottom and you can do some cool stuff like that. But I didn't skate this board that much because look how hot this girl is and I wanted to keep this intact. And this is Jessup Grip Tape. Let's get on to the next one. Coming in next, we have another morning wood board and I believe this is just called the Orange Camo Board. So this is super sick. This one had mob grip tape on it and I focused this one in a parking garage when I forgot how to do hospital flips for a day. Let's get on to the next one. Similar to the Girl Bam Margera board, I completely planned out how I wanted this board to look too. And this is a Toy Machine Always Watching board with, uh, this is Grizzly Grip Tape. I think this is called the Splatter Grip Tape. And I wanted to make it all white and all black and this turned out absolutely awesome. Uh, I know this is a Toy Machine and you might not be able to see it, but uh, this has some marks where the eyes pop out right here. And you can kind of see it where uh, the slide marks get in, but this was a super cool looking board. And I wish I could say the same about Toy Machine's Concave. Coming in next, we have my first Revive board that I ever skated. This is the John Hill 8.25 Fantasy Series board, and I had Grizzly Grip Tape on here. 
This board, I filmed my first edit for Instagram on, and this is where I really started to like the shape of Revive boards. And you're gonna see a common theme that a lot of these are Revive boards coming up, but this was an awesome, awesome, awesome board. Coming in next, I tried my next ATM board, and this is the Lone Wolf board, and this is where I started to like ATM skateboards. So this board was really good for its price. Um, I believe it was $20 cheaper than every other board, and it held up perfectly. And this is mob grip tape on it, but yeah, still in pretty good condition outside the razor tail. But this is the 8.25 ATM Lone Wolf deck. So I know I just said ATM are great boards for the price. This next one coming up is an ATM Tiny Wings board that you might notice. The grip tape's perfect, the graphic's perfect, and that's because it snapped on a heel flip in two hours. So that was super awesome. Let's get on to the next one. Coming in next, we have an original Baker logo board, and this is kind of holographic. You might notice that this is absolutely destroyed, and that's because yours truly, Fetty Potter, broke this one at Braille, so I'll show a clip of that now. Hey, hey. Let's get on to the next one. So at Braille, when you break your board, or if Betty Potter breaks your board, you get a brand new blank board. So this is a blank board that I got at the Braille house, and you might notice this is also absolutely destroyed. Let's get on to the next one. The next board we have coming in is an Element National Geographic board with Carlos Lastra's Pro Flick grip tape that he gave me on there, so that's super cool. And this is what uh, this looks like. This one also snapped on a heel flip, but the graphic was totally cool, and the grip tape was even cooler. Let's get on to the next one. So before I get into these next boards, I had two others in between this that I ended up giving away. One was a Revive board. I'll show a picture of this one right now. I had this one up on my Instagram. I gave that to my cousin. And the next one is an Alien Workshop board. <laughs> And uh, this lasted so well, uh, the grip tape just gave out, so I handed it down to another skater who needed a board. But let's continue with these boards. Coming in next, we have the original Red Lifeline Revive board and Am Grip, uh, I believe this is the Am Grip Revive collab. So this was super sick with that uh, top pink layer. So shout out Revive, they're awesome boards. And also coming up next, we have a Revive Lifeline. I forget what this one's actually called. I think it's just the white and red, or maybe it's the Blood Lifeline, not sure. But we also have Am Grip on here, and this is just a standard Am Grip cutout, and this has the orange top fly. So super, super cool. All right, the next board we have, and possibly the strongest board I've ever skated, this is an 8.25 Creature board. Forget what brand grip tape this is, but it has that awesome green top fly. And uh, yeah, this board I cannot say enough good things about. So the grip gave out on me way before this board did, and if I put new grip tape on it, this board would still be good to go. So, yeah. All right, and the people who haven't watched uh, my board setup video on my channel, this is the board I'm currently skating. This is an 8.25 Dark Star board with the Am Grip Force Wheels collab, and it has some of that Dark Star logo underneath, so that's super cool. And so we've got Grind King, Disruptor Trucks, Heartbreak Wheels, and Bones Reds Bearings. All right, and we got one more cool board to show you. And lastly, this is gonna be the next board I skate. And for those who watch my live screens on Instagram, you will see that I set this one up on there. And this is the 8.25 Revive 3.0 Splatter Lifeline with this black top ply uh, and Am Grip Revive collab. So this is gonna be the next board I skate. And this obviously looks super, super sick. I love that black top ply. All right, thanks so much, guys. For the next live stream, I think we're gonna be having a bonfire. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see a board review on any of these boards, feel free to leave a comment down below in the description. Like always, guys, like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Have a great one, and I'll link my Instagram down below in the description. Thanks so much, guys.